Good morning, everyone. My name is Nitya. So today I'm going to discuss on my ma major project topic, which is weed identification using deep learning and image processing. So coming to the contents, these are the following cont contents that I'm going to discuss on. So this is the abstract. So as we know, agriculture plays an important role, not only in India, but also in other countries. Because agriculture is a primary source where we get food uh, on which we live on. So uh, these days farmers are facing lots of issues. Uh, these issues can be due to uh, bad weather conditions. Uh, there are not proper uh, irrigation facilities and many other and many other reasons. But one such reason among them is uh, weeds. Weeds are nothing but the unwanted plants that are grown in the crop fields. Uh, why we are considering this as one of the reason for not uh, proper uh, yield because uh, these are the plants uh, that try to uh, grow everywhere in the uh, in the crop field which try to consume uh, the necessary uh, amount of nutrition as well as the water that are required by the crops by them so uh, by this reason the crops that are growing in the same field will not be able to get the proper nutrition as well as the uh, fertilizers or the uh, water that they need from the soil. So it has become a very, very much necessity for the farmers to identify them and, uh, and to remove them to get more yield. So uh, in this project, I try to identify these weeds from plants uh, using deep learning techniques. Uh, where uh, in, uh, inputs will be of the images. So coming to the abstraction, sorry, sorry, introduction. Uh, as we know, as I've already mentioned, that farmers are face, uh, facing lots of issues. Uh, so uh, as technology is growing day by day, Using this technology, we can implement this into the agriculture field, which will be very much helpful to the farmers. Like the machine learning, there are ma many machine learning techniques that can be implemented in this field. Uh, here, uh, we have to, uh, we, we try to identify the weeds from the crops. So, uh, the, uh, we can, uh, so uh, here I'm using the deep learning algorithms, which try to identify the weeds from the image, uh, sorry, from the plants. So the input that I'm going to provide is in the form of images. So images are nothing but the unstructured data. So these unstructured data is very much complicated to be worked on. And it is very, uh, so to work with this data, we need uh, neural networks uh, to work upon it. So coming to the problem statement and objective, the problem statement is that, uh, in, uh, uh, India, like most of the people uh, in India, depend upon agriculture. Like seven, uh, almost seventy percent of the people depend on agriculture. So farmers are pay, uh, so farmers have large range of variety of selected various suitable crops, and they're fi uh, finding the weeds of a plant. So we have to remove these plants in order to make the crops to grow more and to increase the yield of the crop. So, which is the biggest problem, um, biggest problem that we have identified. So, the main op the objective is that uh, we have to remove, uh, so not remove, but we have to identify these weeds from the crop field so that the farmers can use this uh, to identify them and remove them easily by uh, spraying pesticides or any other kind of things to remove them and help the uh, main crop to uh, grow more uh, in a huge quantity. So the algorithm, that, the algorithm that I'm going to use here is the BGG90 model, which is one of the type of convolution neural network. And the input that I'm going to provide is of the images. So coming to the existing and proposed system, in the existing system, uh, so as we know, the most of the data is in the form of unstructured data that is uh, it can be in the form of audio video images uh, and lots of like even the text messages comes under the unstructured data so dealing with this data is a very much difficult task 
so in the existing system they try to use uh, uh, sorry support vector machine to deal with this data but now in propo system here we are going to collect the data set of plants and beads to train the model and we are going to uh, pre process them uh, into uh, pre process them and then going to train and test the data then i'm going to apply the uh, the main algorithm which is uh, bgg19 model which is one of the convolution neural network and then we are going to save this model and then we are the fr the front end is being developed using flask through which we can interact with the uh, we, uh, we can interact with so coming to the literature survey the first paper uh, is detection of bead plants using image processing and deep learning techniques so this paper is published in 2017 so here they have uh, used this uh, used the same algorithm which is convolution neural network here even the input is provided as uh, images but here the images will be processed using yolo technique uh, come uh, and then coming to the next uh, paper here um, that is uh, an advanced bead detection using deep learning techniques which is published in 2016 uh, so here even they have used the same uh, algorithm but the filter that they have applied is different that is the uh, the filter that they have applied is gobber filter coming to the next uh, paper which is review of v detection methods based on computer vision which is published in 2017 uh, th uh, this paper is basically a review paper where they have uh, where they try to collect different papers that were published on the same topic the same topic uh, in the previous years and they try to compare each paper and then measure like what are the differences uh, based upon one paper and the other and what are the challenges that they have faced coming to the next paper which is deep learning techniques for in crop wheat identification which is a review to uh, published in 2019 uh, uh, even this paper is also a review paper where they try to collect the uh, papers of uh, other uh, 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 other papers that were published before and then they try to compare uh, and then uh, compare each paper uh, and show like what are the challenges that they have faced so coming to the fifth paper that is wheat species identification in different crops using precision weed management a review which was published in 2021 even this paper is also a review kind of paper so coming to the system requirements so first is software requirements that you are that you require that is the operating system is Windows family, technology is Python 3.6, front end is Flask, and the IDA that have used is Anaconda. Coming to hardware requirements is the processor. You can use any kind of updated processor. RAM is minimum 4 GB and hard disk is minimum 100 GB. So coming to the uh, uh, architecture, as you can see, this is a, a block diagram, uh, like a flow chart. Uh, uh, it, it describes the step-by-step -step process of the whole uh, project. So first is we are going to, uh, first thing is uh, I, I, you're going to identify that is you're going to take the images and then pre-process them from uh, uh, that like pre-process nothing but uh, for, uh, uh, it's nothing but you're converting the image of RGB into a grayscale and uh, like decreasing the size of the image these all comes under pre-processing after pre-processing you're going to uh, like get the important free features out of them and then final step is nothing but the classification that is it's going to identify whether it is a bead or a plant so these are the important libraries that are, that i have used in my project the first one is tensorflow uh, which is the basic and the necessary one uh, this is mainly used to deal with uh, numerical computations like uh it will de uh, de like there will be a faster dealing with uh, numerical uh, new, uh, new, uh, numerical values so and this was uh, released by google so coming to keras it is one of the uh, deep learning uh, library uh, which is uh, developed on top of uh, tensorflow which is mainly used for deep learning techniques and coming to uh, numpy it is a library that can be used with arrays uh, like arrays is nothing but as we know uh, an image when it is con uh, like 
the image will be uh, seen as a matrix uh, or an array of image like each pixel will be given as a uh, array uh, next coming to matplotlib so this library is mainly used for graph uh, uh, plotting the graphs next next one is the flask flask is mainly used for the web development that is the front end which is based upon the html language next coming to the data set description as you can see there are uh, two pictures over there the first one is the plant data set and the second one is the bee data set so the uh, main uh, this data set is taken from kaggle uh, uh, so a uh, kaggle and each uh, like each plan data set will be in one folder and the each uh, data set will be in another folder next coming to image processing as i've already mentioned image processing is very much important as uh, because uh, uh, because the rgb images since it has three channels that is red green and blue so it is of very much complicated to work with so to uh, minimize this complication we have to convert this image into grayscale so uh, which becomes a 2d image and then we are going to resize this image into 20 uh, 22 sorry 224 by uh, 224 this is the main thing that we but uh, that we need in this project the reason that we are going to convert this into this size is i'm uh, the size is that i will uh, explain the later slide next coming to convolution neural network uh, this is a this is the algorithm that we are going to use so in this convolution neural network we are going to have three main layers that is the first is the convolution layer the second is the pooling layer and the final one is the fully connected layer so these are the three main layers where the image is going to be uh, processed upon and then the final output will be displayed uh, main uh, and another point is that convolution neural networks mostly work with images and they can also be used with sounds text videos and other medias too so as you can see the following image uh, here the, uh, as you can see the plant image is provided as the input and it undergoes the first layer as i've mentioned the first layer is the convolution layer, the layer. so this it tries to uh, uh, like reduce the size of the image so by this way the as it goes on to the end layer the complication of the uh, ima image that we have provided will be reduced and it will be very much easier for the fully connected layer to process f1 and give the final output so vtg coming to vtg19 so this is one of the convolution neural network model it is one of the type of it so uh, the name uh, 19 is given because it uses 19 layer uh, 19 different layers so th that is the reason it has given as vgg19 and, uh, uh, and 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 another main reason is that this require an input images of size 20, uh, 224 by 224 that is the main so this is the main reason why we are going to pre process our images so coming to the deployment as you can see uh, as, uh, this is the uh, front page of my deployment and this deployment is uh, so this front end is developed using flask uh, yeah flask and uh, as you enter the uh, like give the images of a bead or a plant then when you click on product then it is going to show you the uh, final output that it, it will be uh, whether it is a bead or a normal plant and uh, conclusion coming to conclusion so uh, like uh, uh, the whole process is done uh, and the accuracy uh, came out to be of uh, 82 percent and which can be improved too by uh, like extracting the important features or uh, using uh uh using uh, different layers or the kernel that can be applied onto the uh images that can be of different kind of thing by this way uh, we can get uh, or try getting a more accuracy
so coming to future scope uh, uh the future scope is that uh, instead of using a uh, convolution neural network we can even focus on using uh, rnn classification which can be used to extract the important features out of the images and then we can train the model uh, next uh, i will be showing you the uh, the working of my uh, front end Uh, as you can see, this is my front end. So uh, here we need to upload the image of plants, uh, uh, which we, ha we have chosen as a data set. So as you can see, uh, the image that I'm going to upload is the plant one. So we need to check whether uh, it is going to predict as a weed or a plant. Now press the button predict. As you can see, it has predicted that it is a normal plant. Now let us try with an, uh, another image of weed. Now again, click on the choose button and select the weed plant. As you can see, these are uh, or uh, these are all of weed plants. Select any one. Then click predict. So as you can see, it has predicted as a uh, weed. So this is all about my project. Thank you.